Welcome back YouTube, this is Two Point Show. For those of you new here, welcome to the channel. For those of you who have been here for a while, welcome back. Today we're on the Junior account, free to play, whatever you want to call it, and we're doing an upgrade that I should have done a long time ago. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. Um, I've been saving up some food for a while and being free to play. It does take forever. Um, but I orbed whenever Garuda was the the prize, which I think was last month. Maybe it was the month before. I don't really remember. But I have two nine stars. And we're... Okay, okay. We're going to upgrade Garuda. She's currently at 10. Um, but we got Norma and Lutz, the poster child himself. So I figured might as well. Um, also... You know, for those of you who are wondering why I'm doing this, and instead of, you know, making other food to feed to him, I think that it's a lot more beneficial to just push one hero, even if you have a 5 star on the team. Uh, because, you know, we'll have two 10 stars. Technically, I could feed Dantalion, and then only have Garuda. And I'm thinking about that, but at the same time, I just... What, where are they? free team up all right but again at the same time i just don't fully know if that's what i want to do again sometimes the damage could be higher you know in pve and i might win a little bit more fights if i gave him something like um what is that even called where he like heals over time um whatever it's not resilience, but in anyways, you know, just being E3, he has a lot more enables to work with, so forth, blah, blah, blah. And, again, that could be, you know, a way to go about it. And I might end up doing that, but for the time being, I think I'm just going to hold off. Because Garuda does work better with people who are tanky and, you know, can just throw hits out. Look at the attack, 666. Kind of funny. Uh, but again, the more attacks other people are doing, the more Garuda actually does. So, I don't want my whole team to be, you know, Heart Watcher, Sigmund, 6-star Delosium, and then two 5-stars. So, you know, that's that's just my thinking. Um, but, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it would be worth it to just bump up her to E3? Um, clearly, I have enough gold and all that resources and stuff to do so. I should probably work on her stone and all of that now that she's starting to get high enough. Uh, but I figured we have, we should have, yes, we got 30 minutes left. We'll go in, we'll fight this dude. All will be well. <sighs> Again, lineup wise, I don't really know who I should throw in. I don't even know who I should use as a sixth. Um, ignore that level 30 Phoenix. Accidents happen. Um, but I think this is the best we can do here. It's super weird early game. Because you're like, I don't have enough heroes. And late game, you're like, I have too many heroes. Who am I going to bring? Um, you know, I personally don't have that problem. But early game, it is super weird. Because, like, again, I have Garuda. Heart Watcher's not bad. She definitely needs to be leveled up, though. And then I guess Sigmund. Sigmund's Sigmund. He's cool. He's kind of doing his job, whatever, um, but, I don't know, I just need some, something else to pair with this, Delosium is super cool, and I've seen him do great work, but again, at 6 star, he just kind of hangs in there, um, I think Garuda will just wipe everyone out of the water, unless if she gets pa paralyzed, stunned, whatever, whatever DA does, petrify, I don't know, whatever, um, but if they do that for too long, um, you know, then obviously she'll she'll suffer. And Dantalion might actually take the cake. It's highly unlikely. But again, that's the one problem with running one, you know, maxed out hero. Because if you're not running Resilience or Purify, Resilience might be that trait that I'm thinking of. Purify, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, the E3 where it gets rid of status afflictions... If you're not running that, and they CC your one hero, then it's basically game over. Um, you know, as, as you could see, 
Garuda would be able to last, but just not enough damage. But still, let's see what we were doing, or what we're doing now. What we did earlier, we honestly averaged like 5 to 6 million max. So we got 19, which is not too bad. I mean, that's that's a lot better. Um, I mean, Garuda would die, actually. And Dantalion wouldn't necessarily die, but he'd just kind of get perma-lockdown. So again, I'm not displeased with that. The highest that I think I ever saw was 5. So we more than doubled that, which is good. I mean, it's, it's good to make progress. And my guild definitely needs it. I've been telling him for a while, you know, like, hey, 90, not too bad. So we did like 19 or so um, in that one run, which is not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's check out one or two PvP fights. I don't want this video to be too, too long. But again, I, I know that a lot of people will build multiple heroes at once, and I get the, the appeal to it, but we'll just fight. Hopefully we can find... I mean, this team is not bad. It's got a ton of 9 stars, and that's kind of what I want. I guess we have Demon Hunter. We can always level her up for PvP instead of Karim. Anyways, what I, what, I, what I was saying, though, was, you know, a ton of people are like, I want to build. We'll check this dude's team out. He had Nakia, um, Unimax, maybe Horus? Yeah, so Horus, Unimax... Garuda, Nakia, all great heroes, honestly. They're phenomenal. But I can almost assure you we're going to win this, even though our team is not PvP at all. I mean, we have Heart Watcher. You don't want her at all. Sigmund, he falls off super late. Dantalion's not even really good, you know, but th our team right now is Garuda. Dantalion's there for extra support to give Garuda some extra attacks, you know, because he's super tanky. But outside of that, it's mostly just Garuda is our main team. And again, this is why you want to build one hero and push that one hero. Just because they will take you so much farther than having multiple projects all stuck at 9 star. Because who's this dude going to feed off? His Garuda? His Unimax? I doubt it. So again, we'll try to find one more person who has about the same power. I mean, this is it. But again, I feel like that's too similar of a team. This one would not be bad. Okay, so this dude's building a ton of food. It makes sense. What is this dude? This dude outclasses us quite a bit. But again, I like where he's going. You know, he has Heart Watcher, 9 Star. Perfect. Ah, come on. Let me find something. Again, th that's not too bad. I mean, again, I consider most of those dudes food. Um... This one's interesting. Uh, you know, he should be building other heroes more. Let's find... Okay, this one, not too bad. We're kind of comparable, but again, this dude has a lot of weird projects, like 7, 8 stars. So, we'll just see what is what. I honestly don't know. Horse is really good. Needs a tank early game, for sure. Uh, I feel like I've been talking really quick throughout this whole video. But... Again, I'm just kind of showing again another point. I, I don't think a lot of people will strictly build one hero, and it does hurt their progress. So anyways, the message of today is just focus on one thing, you know, and if it takes you longer, no big deal. It's, a, it's an idle game for a reason. Um, but with that being said, it looks like we're, we have the upper hand here. He has Amon Ra, though, which puts up a shield right now, probably. Ooh, okay, we almost, almost killed her. The shield will help a little bit, but overall I think we're we're gonna we're gonna be just fine. So anyways, that wraps that up. I'm shocked that we won that, but anyways, back to the point. His horse went off. But, you know, our team just worked a little bit better. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap everything up. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys learned something. And I hope you guys had a fun time. Anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. And I hope to see you again. Peace.